Welcome back, everybody. Stocks rose overnight in Asia. That came despite some fresh signs of a potential slowdown in China. Eunice Yoon joins us right now with the latest data on China's manufacturing sector. And Eunice, it's not good. No, it's not. Today's data indicated that the manufacturing sector here shrank for a second month in a row. The Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index ticked up to 49.5 in January from 49.4 in December. That's better than the forecast of 49.3, but still any number below 50 indicates a contraction. Now, the production and raw materials inventories both edged higher, but new orders, which is an important gauge of future activity, declined. Also, a lot of manufacturers have been reporting that they've had to cut more jobs. The manufacturers here have been under a lot of pressure because of falling profits, decelerating factory inflation, as well as all the uncertainty over the tariffs. And this latest data is likely to be a stark reminder for the Chinese negotiators who are going into the second day of talks in Washington as to why they need to end the tariffs. The uh, vice premier, Liu He, who is leading the delegation, is going to be meeting with President Trump later today. And even though the government here has not indicated what uh, Liu He plans to pitch, a lot of China watchers believe that he is going to um, pitch for a deal that is very heavy on the trade deficit reduction component and to try to play up how that would benefit President Trump's base.